I was an asshole. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my fashion sense actually uh, left me for a pack of cigarettes when I was a kid. Never came back. <laughs> um, periods. Never had one. Actually, okay, one time. Wasn't like a big deal. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, I have braces. I'm 16 years old, which means, uh, ladies, 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 let's keep it legal tonight. Please. I know I'm, I'm irresistible, but Chris Hansen is in the back waiting to just come out like... <laughs> So, uh, who, who, was, uh, who was hitting on the 16 year old boy? The whole camera crew comes out. Uh, yeah, braces, and I come from a very redneck town. It's called Caledon East. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, whoever laughed, thank you. And, uh, so, one of my friends, he actually, he, he, do you guys know what dip is? Like, like, mouth? It's disgusting. Chew. But, uh, chew. Whoever said that. Uh, yeah, basically, my friend once asked me, he was like, he was like hey, do you want to, like, talk a love with me? No! I- my mom's gonna catch me, what am I gonna say? I was eating Oreos. No. <laughs> um, I- I am, like, the absolute epitome of a white boy. Like, you- <laughs> I have a Snapchat t-shirt on, man. I wore these camo pants thinking maybe, like, if you only saw half of me, that I'd be, like, a little more comfortable on stage, but that's clear. I'm not working. Man, I got, like, a whole, like, there's an entire gaggle of stoners over here. <laughs> you're getting, like, Woo! from over here, and you're just like, Woo. I, the, the, it is pungent in here. It smells like dank. Which one of you motherfuckers are here? <laughs> yes, I do swear. I can tell there's a mom in the audience, like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta tell the ladies on Facebook about this. She comes home, she's like, you won't believe what I saw tonight. To, clear, to paint a clearer picture, she has a glass of wine in hand. She's clearly unsatisfied by her husband. Uh, and she definitely wants to see the manager. So, um, she'll write, a 16 year old boy was being vulgar and using profanity on stage, not at my local Yag Yugs. <laughs> Somebody needs to teach him manners, get him outside more. Little does she know, I have. The, the, the physique of Betty fucking White. I am sweating just standing here. I had to put deodorant on three times today. This is terrible. I get winded taking my laundry up one flight of stairs. I'm convinced, 99% sure, if a team of doctors studied my body, they would find at least two unfathomable health problems. But you guys know what I did today? I, it's my March break, so I wake up, I lie in bed until 11 a.m. Yeah, I got up, I was so lightheaded from just standing up, I sat back down and slept for another two hours. <laughs> uh, my brother walked up to me before I came on stage, and he like he gave me a hug, and I was like, oh, this is nice. I never received love from my siblings. So he's, he's like hugging me, and in my ear he just whispers, don't fuck up. <laughs> Thanks. Like, what's your name? Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Exotic. Uh, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, how old are you? She's, fuck, guys, she's 22. Listen, I'd say wait a couple years, but let's be honest, the looks have reached their pinnacle. <laughs> I look like a rat met a gecko at Coachella, and I'm their love child. Which is confusing, because my mommy's a beautiful woman, okay? And uh, I think what happened was, I was just, I was just the, 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 the fetus. And I took all I took all of like the bad genes and I just left the womb with them. <laughs> um, let's be honest. Who here rails coke? <laughs> Alright, police, they're in here. White boy comes and saves the day. I am the narc. I am the narc he was talking about earlier. <laughs> Actually, um, I was up. I was up in the bathroom. I, I, if you don't, if you weren't here before, this guy was just slamming me on stage. He was like, "Ernie, who names our kid Ernie?" I know. It's like, who names who names anyone Ernie? But <laughs> I was up. I was up in the bathroom, and I walk up, and uh, I met one of the I met one of the comics from last time, like last uh, performance. He was like, "Hey man, how's it going?" And I was about to piss, but I was like, "Oh, you know what? I will give you props before, cause I'm nice." And I gave him props before I went to do my thing. And uh, this other guy walks in and he's got like a glass of beer. I can tell this guy's like past his limit, like shit face. So he walks in, he's like, are you a comic? And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to piss. Like, can you give me a couple minutes here? And uh, 
Yeah, and so he just talked to me for like five minutes. I'm trying to get downstairs, you know what I mean? Um, it's weird up here. Because like, like when you're down there, you're just smiling at everyone, but all I see is like... <laughs> it's jarring, to say the least. You know what sucks about being 16, man? I can't eat my goldfish in peace anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'll be at the PetSmart, and the guy's like, Oh, sir, can you like back away from the fish tank? <laughs> Uh, guys, listen, my name is Ernie Bison. It's been an honor. Thank you so much.